Hello friends, today we will study how to draw Archimedean spiral. The requirement of the Archimedean spiral is what? What is the length between two points? So one is going to be fixed point, other is going to be a moving point. Uh, or length of the line, so that is 80 mm and one convolution, means 360 degree rotation. Actually, uh, for drawing the Archimedean spiral, initially, I will suggest draw the two intersecting lines. So one is going to be horizontal line and other is going to be a vertical line. And intersecting point of this, it is going to be one end. So let's say it's A. Then from A, mark 80 mm. So, 80 mm is going to be this point only. So, this is going to be B. AB is 80 mm. And with AB as a radius, with AB as a radius, we can draw the circle. So, if this point is fixed one, then we get the circle. If point is fixed, we get always circle and for getting the Archimedean spiral what we have to get we uh, means first we have to divide this circle into all eight equal parts at the same time this AB distance also in same number of parts for division of circle into eight equal parts so if I draw the two lines at an angle of 45 degree. So this circle will be divided into eight equal parts. This circle has been divided into eight equal parts. Huh. Uh, the basic requirement of spiral is what? Drawing the circle with the radius equal to length of the line 80 mm we have drawn and it has been divided into 8 equal parts. At the same time 80 distance also we have to divide it into 8 equal parts. We have marked 10, 10, 10. 80 by 8 it's 10, 10. Now numbering is very important. How we have to give the number? So from B, so it is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 means that point A only. I am giving that name on upper side because it may intersect later on the curve. Then for the circle also, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and finally we will reach to the same point. Means we will rotate like this and we will come to the beginning point. Well in the beginning point will be at B and then it will in first 45 degree rotation means one eighth part of the circle it will move inside by one eighth distance and that distance is going to be this much means by b1 distance it will go inside means if initially point is at b then after 45 degree rotation it will be at this place so this point is going to be p1 then Similarly, now in the compass take distance equal to A to 2 and then rotate this and intersect at 2, a line passing through 2. Then next is P3 distance, P3. Then distance A to 4 and intersect, intersection on a line 4. And now 5, then rotate it. Then 6, again on 6. Then finally the last point will get like this. Like. So like this, we will get the 8 points. So I will tell how we can mark this 8 points. So initial point is P, means at B. Next point is P1. Next 90 degree rotation, so it is moved by two centimeters inside then three it is four 
it is 5, it is 6, it is 7 and finally we will reach to the other end which is going to be point P8 and draw the smooth curve passing through these 8 points. So for drawing the curve I'll draw the curve through all these eight points and then name the points P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, P6, P7, P8 and the most important thing is dimensioning. So which is going to be that AB distance it is nothing but AT. Dimensioning is very important, naming is optional and only in your drawing that curve should be dark and draw with free hand with concentration we will get the smooth curve. So it is the Archimedean spiral of one convolution.